Do you have one side of your nose that's harder to breathe through? Uh, yeah, my right side. All right, um, try it right now. And so it's the harder, th that one on the right is harder to breathe? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Whenever you're ready. <coughs> Crazy. Okay. Great. So we have Christian here today. Um, Christian was referred him by a friend and um, your main concern is breathing, right? Yes. So what's been going on? Is it tight breathing? Is it hard to get air through? What, what do you notice? So usually when I play sports, I realize I can't like breathe like I used to mm -hmm. prior to starting boxing. And also when I go to sleep, I also realize it's harder for me to breathe and sometimes I end up having to breathe through my mouth. And then mm -hmm. I know that's all that can cause future issues. Okay. Um, all right. So he's a boxer, and you know I've worked with a lot of uh, people that train boxing, martial artists, and um, you know they'll say if they're sparring and they're breathing through the mouth, it's it's not as efficient as if they can stay relaxed and, and have the option of breathing through the nose as the primary way while they're while they're training. It can control their heart rate better. Um, it, it doesn't jazz up the body as much as when we're mouth breathing, it's, it's agitating, it's stressful. Uh, so we can help you with the craniofacial release today. Typically that's a treatment protocol that takes four treatments according to my teacher, Dr. Adam Del Torto, that did this for 25 years in his practice. He retired last year. But people will see a big change in just one treatment sometimes 40 to 60% on the first treatment, and then if they choose to do the second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth treatment, they might uh, be able to bring it all the way to their desired amount that they want to get to, maybe 90 to hopefully 100%. Do you have one side of your nose that's harder to breathe through? Uh, yeah, my right side. All right, um, try it right now. And you can even hold one side then the other and, and just test. And so it's the harder, that one on the right is harder to breathe? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get smashed in the nose sparring and boxing and stuff? Yeah. yeah quite I a few it. times. That's part of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else tight today? Shoulders, back, neck? Yeah. So my back, shoulder, upper area feels a little tight. All right. Cool. Not good that that's happened, but good that we'll get started. Okay. So go ahead and lie face down here. You're going to put your nose straight down on that headpiece and lie in your belly, please. I'm going to put this uh, stretch thing on you in a second, but first I want to see you lift this leg as high as you can. Good. And then put it down and then switch legs and bring that other one up as high as you can. Is either side tight to lift? Uh, I think left. Try it again. Go right, left, right, left. And do one more time. Okay, they both come about the same height, but you feel tightness in it. Do you feel it down here in the lower back or more in the glute area? Uh, lower back. So right where I was before? Yes. Okay, so let me hold this for a second. And I'm down here on the QL, the quadratus lumborum is the Latin name of that muscle, but people call it the QL most commonly here. And do you feel that muscle here? Yeah. Turn your face to this side, so turn all the way to this, no, this way, please. Good. Say one more time, so you feel the tightness? Yeah. Okay. It kind of hurts a little too, right? Yeah. And I'm holding this muscle. Good. And then I'm gonna get into the top of the glute. That should hurt too. Yeah. Right, right there. Okay. Now I'm going to lift this angle up. Good, and then I'm going to pull this hip. Okay, now try lifting both, you know, one at a time. How's that feel? Better. Better, okay, good. Good. So now I'm going to come up the back a little bit. Oh, let's put that traction thing on. So scoot back up a little bit. And we're going to put this around his ankles and start to stretch him. Move this on pretty fast. Okay. 
and reach out for these handles so that it'll give you a nice pull. So, now I'm going to work up the muscles here, up his back with the elbow. You can feel some of these, right? Yeah. Here, turn your head to this way again so we can hear you talk. You feel, ooh, it's just cracked. Did you hear crack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels, I know it feels painful, but it's, should, it should also feel therapeutic, like we're getting in on some spots. Or does it just feel painful? A little painful. Both? Both. Yeah. All right. All right. Turn your face to center. Now turn it to this side and then back to this side. So we're experimenting. Which way is it harder to turn? Left or right? That yeah. way or towards the kitchen? Towards the kitchen. Okay, so now turn it towards the kitchen and um, point to where it feels the most tight. Is it most tight in the shoulder blade or tight in the neck when you make that turn? And you can experiment. So you go center this way, center this way, and see if you can touch with this finger where you feel it pulling. So it's more of a, he's pointing more to the trap. So now back to center with your face. And I'm going to come in here like this. I'm going to, that should hurt, right? Yeah. Right in there. That's really bad. Here, turn your face this way now. Do you feel that? Yeah. Right there, right? Wow. Yeah. One more. Okay, now turn to this side. A little looser. Okay, head back to center. So your occiput's also out. So I'm going to have you come stand up. And you're going to come sit here on this little chair. And actually sit facing the window. Turn your head this way and tilt. And let the head come down. Bend it this way. Even more, let it collapse this way. There you go. Oh. Wow. Felt that. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. That was a very loud crack. Did it feel good or you're not sure? It felt great. Good. Alright. Let's see if we can get a little on this side. Bend your head to the side. Keep going. Good and back again. Let it bend. No, that side doesn't release. Okay, so now lie on your back and face up, right here. We're gonna do a Y strap next. Have you seen that? Um, no. No, okay, here, look at me. He hasn't seen one yet, so let's see what happens, see if he likes it. So this goes around and pulls you straight up, okay? And it expands everything and decompresses. You up for it? Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do, since you've never seen this before, is I'll stretch you once or twice. Here, let your chin relax, so that you can feel the stretch. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to do it, we can bail out, okay? So that's it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go boom and pull. And here's another stretch. And I'll pull when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Well, not when you're ready, but when we decide to do it. Do you think we could do it as, a, as a, an adjustment? Yep. Okay. Big breath in. And blow it out. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh. What'd you feel? Pain. Then, like, it felt great. What part of your neck or back did you feel? Felt it like right where you were pushing down on. Yeah. Felt it there, and I felt like my whole neck cracked. And it feel better now? Way better. Good, good, good. Ooh. Got it. 
Oh. Now scoot down towards me. Even more. And come under here and do a little upper thoracic. <laughs> How's that? Amazing. Good. Scoot down this way a little bit. Now I'm gonna wiggle your nose, okay? This way it comes really easy. This way it's a little stuck. So here I can bring the nose almost under the eye. And this way it's a little tight. And it's feeling tight right in here. And that's where the nasal bone meets the cartilage. And let me just push down like this, get the... Um, Try to breathe it out. That's crazy. Go ahead, breathe in. Any difference? Yeah. Good. Do you hear the crack? It went. I did. Yeah. So now it's moving nice. All right, lie on your side facing me. Pull the knee up. <laughs> oh. Amazing. So turn this way. <laughs> Got it. Lie on your back. All right, you ready to go get your nose done? Ready. Well, the inside, we just did the outside. Yeah. So leave your stuff here. We're just going to walk down the other room, OK? This is floppy. You have to squeeze floppy, OK? That will keep you from grabbing my hand. And it's a really good thing to hold on to when I'm doing this. It's going to usually take one or two squeezes of this bulb. So if I squeeze the first time and it doesn't crack through the back, you'll need to just let me refill it by letting the air come back into it and then I squeeze it again. The videos that I showed you had um, two or three pumps to get it done, but sometimes people will release in one pump and it'll be done in like a split second. It's fast. When I have it in, I'll say, now open your mouth wide and then hold your breath. Let's show you, let's see you do it now. And then squeeze your lips and hold your breath and it's over, boom. So. We're going to start on your left side because your right side's the worst. And um, you usually start on the easier side. You don't have to, but it's usually do. So um, we're going to do this right now. And here, look at me for a second. So this is for breathing difficulty. And this is his first time ever doing this. His first time ever seeing it. Ready? So this is the tricky part is to get it back there. And you'll feel the aloe. I put a little aloe vera on it. And this, this side's not great either, by the way. I think you've been smacked on both sides through your boxing. Whenever you're ready, big breath in and hold your breath. Here's tissues, OK? Thank you. Did you hear cracking? Oh, yeah, I felt it too. What did, what did it sound like? Ooh, my ears were like ringing. Okay. Do you want to sit up for a second? <laughs> you can blow your nose or lay right in your face. One of the things that the balloon does is it mobilizes the cranial bones. It releases direct pressure on the brain by having your bones squeeze so tight in your face. 
it relieves the dural men, meningeal, um, meningeal tension. And the dura is like the sac or sheath on top of our brain and spinal cord. So it releases some of the pressure around that. And think of the casing on a hot dog being too tight. And we sometimes feel that way where, you know, like our brain and our skull is just too tight. Um, it definitely opens breathing passageways. It will facilitate sinus drainage. And some of the people that would come for something like this have breathing problems, migraine headaches, sinusitis, tinnitus, which is the sound in your ears, like the whooshing or ringing, vertigo, Bell's palsy, trigeminal neuralgia, sleep apnea, snoring, head trauma. And um, it helps a whole bunch of different things for people. But we don't really target, we don't really target curing any disease or ailment. So how did that feel? Crazy? Crazy. Okay. Great. And um, try your breathing right now. We just did the left side. We haven't done the right side yet. Better. Yeah. What did it sound like? Could you reproduce the sound like in sound effects? Like, <laughs> like, like, like what you just you, you did. Tried. The yeah. sound, yeah. Did it make a big pop or a lot of little crackling noises? A uh, little crackling and I heard a big pop. You heard a big pop at the end? Yeah. And how are your ears now? Still weird or are they settling uh, down? They're settling down, but it started ringing when... When I first did it? Yeah. Okay. So let's um, do the next one, okay? You're going to lie on your back. We're going to do the right side. And um, we're going to be done fast again, okay? Mm-hmm. At least it's fast, right? Yeah. Here we go. Whenever you're ready. <coughs> what do you think? Oh. Way, 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 way better. Did it crack? Yeah. Here, come sit up. What did it sound like? No, sound, sounding totally, yeah. Was this one harder or easier than the first one? Harder. Yeah. More intense? Yeah, way more intense on the left side. Try breathing now. What's different? Like, um, I don't have to, like, Sniff hard like when I like to breathe through the right side. Mm -hmm. Way better. Alright, cool. Are you glad you did this? Really glad. So, so you did a lot of crazy adjustments today. You did the one where you're seated on that stool. That's called the occiput lift. You did the Y strap today. You did a lot of cracks and you did this. What was your favorite today? Um definitely the nose party was the craziest and uh, the one I felt the most. Mm -hmm. But it's really what I came here for, so I'm grateful for that. All right. All right, very cool. All right, thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Leave them a nice comment. Whenever you're ready, big breath in and hold your breath.